What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new slime video for you and I am super excited because I'm going to be reviewing some slime that was sent to me from you, my unicorn babies. If you're excited for the video, don't forget to give it a big slimy thumbs up for me. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel to become a unicorn. Speaking of the unicorn fam, here are the unicorn fam shout outs for today. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for having post notifications on. Thank you for commenting using hashtag unicorn fam and just thank you for being awesome. If you would like one of your comments featured in one of my videos all you have to do is comment down below using hashtag unicorn fam and make sure you're subscribed and <coughs> turn on post notifications just saying if any of my unicorns out there want to send me anything whether it's a letter whether it's slime you want me to review or just like candy from your country or area that you want me to try definitely send it to me i will let you know that i received it by doing a video on it and all that good stuff i always have my p.o box information listed down in the description box below so all you have to do is look at that if you want to send me something by the way my slime shop's instagram account is almost at a hundred thousand so if you could pause this video head over to Instagram and follow me at unicorn slime shop That would be awesome and then come back and watch this video. I am super excited to be reviewing your slime today So let's get started shall we? Alrighty, so first up we have stuffy slimes here by Victoria So thank you so much for sending this in in the package here. We got a bag full of borax I believe there was a tablespoon of borax in there There's also this really cool note that was in there as well with a couple of pictures with a lion, which is pretty cool because I'm a Leo, so I thought that was pretty awesome. But um, it's just basically like the explanation of her name, why she named her shop Stuffy Slimes. And it says in the note that her slime shop is not open yet. However, by the time this video goes up, it might be open. So y'all should go check it out. If I can find a link, I will list it down below. But it says here that she included a vanilla phloem that is chocolate scented. So I'm super excited about that. So in the package as well, there is this very cute and tiny croissant squishy. I love it so much. I have to say croissant like that. I don't know about anybody else. So just saying. And then here is the lovely phloem. It's actually a micro phloem, which I am obsessed with at the moment. I've never actually felt a micro bead phloem. This was perfect, y'all. I am living for the glossiness at the top of the slime as well. I don't know if you've noticed that, but it is just super, super glossy on top. And then when you mix it, it actually falls just like a cloud slime. Kind of weird. I really dig it though. Next up, we have a package from CNC Slimes by Chloe, so I am pretty excited. So included in the package was this little baggie of information slash borax. So there is a little, um, almost like a business card for them, just letting you know like where you can find them. So you should definitely screenshot that to go follow them, uh, just saying. And then um, there's also like a little baggie of borax and you know what to do. There's also a note in there and just all this cool stuff, you know. Now on to the slime. So there is a two eight ounce slimes in this and then there is a little maybe one ounce or two ounce slime which I really enjoyed by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you those now. 
If my memory serves me correctly, I don't think there was a name provided for any of these slimes, but I'm just going to go ahead and describe them to you. So this one here is a clear slime with purple and pink foam beads, and I really, really loved this slime. It was very weird though because it wasn't sticky, yet it was sticking to my hand. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, it was definitely activated properly. I didn't need to add any activator, but it was still sticking to my hands. It was a little weird, but it was the perfect texture, and I really enjoyed it actually, and I think the color of it was just super cute. I don't know if maybe like the added food coloring to this and then added the beads in or if the beads like bled in a little bit and provided it some color I just really enjoyed it This next slime here was a really, really nice slime as well. It did arrive melted. However, that is easily fixed with borax, so it is not a problem at all. There's also some foam beads in there as well to provide some texture. This slime was very, I, it was very moisturizing. Like, I could definitely feel the, like, moisturizer or the lotion that they put in this which I personally loved because I love when you kind of it doesn't leave a residue but you can feel it you know what I mean like it's very very soft you can tell that there is something in there that is making it very soft and moisturizing and I love that it smelled really good just like lotion and yeah This second slime had an amazing texture. It needed no borax whatsoever, and it definitely was my favorite, like, in this package. It was so, so good. This one is my favorite color as well, yellow, so maybe that had something to do with it. But, y'all, this one's super, super thick and spreadable and fluffy at the same time. It's just so, like, different, and I just loved it so much. I think it's a clay slime. I love it. If you follow me on my Slime Shop's Instagram account, you will actually notice that I was playing with this slime there on my Instagram stories. I just really loved this one. And the next package that was sent over is from Fairy Slime Creations, so let's get it poppin'. First thing I want to note about this package here, it was packaged very cute and there was a bunch of stickers everywhere like heart stickers, unicorn stickers and things like that. There was also a note in there just letting me know what is included in the package and just to thank me for the review as well. Even the card that the note was written on was just so beautiful, I didn't even want to open it, it was just so cute. So included in the package as well, like I said, even more hard stickers. It's just super cute. There is a huge carnival lollipop, which I love. Thank you so much for that. And then there is the slime. The slime, the part that we all came for, you know, that stuff. Included in the package as well was this little spray bottle of activator, which I freaking love. I love using these. I'm sure you all know that by now because I've used them in several videos. I just, I love it so much. Nobody's really doing that now, so that is pretty cool. There's also instructions on how to fix your slime if it's hard or if it's melted. And then included were these little Disney pins, which I thought was pretty cool. Now onto the slime itself. The first slime was a cloud slime, which I loved. The scent was so, so good. So this slime is called Spring Fairy, and I think it totally represents that. It smells really sweet and and just very very nice and earthy as well at the same time and I just really love the fall of this one y'all it's perfect
Next slime up is called Birthday Cake and it comes with a pack of homemade fake sprinkles which I thought was pretty cool. This smells really really good y'all. It reminds me of like a vanilla pudding kind of scent. It's just really really nice. The slime itself is actually very soft and clicky and I really enjoyed it. And the last slime is called Bubble Yum. This is actually a chewed up bubblegum slime. It smelled really, really good. And the texture of it was really nice because the base of the slime was very soft yet thick at the same time. And then all the shredded foam pieces just gave it a great texture. It was amazing. And the last slime package that we have for today is from Dino Slime. So in this package there was a note included in it as well just saying thank you for reviewing the slime package and there's also showing you what is in the slime package like what slime you're receiving things like that. There was also a ton of extras included in this y'all, it was so crazy. Those Welch's like little gummy snacks, I ate them right away. Like I paused the filming and I was like, I need to eat them right now. But there was also this really cute like bunny keychain and then some Easter egg dye, which I thought was super awesome. So the first slime here is a clear base slime and it is called Beluga Bob. There is two beluga whale charms at the bottom of it and there's like some fishbowl beads at the top of it. So I'm really excited for this slime. It looks very, very pretty. The slime itself had a really nice texture to it. It was a bit sticky, but that happens during transit and that is nothing that a little bit of borax can fix and that was provided as well so it's totally fine. I really enjoyed the texture overall to this slime and the clarity of it was really nice. The next slime that we have here is called Yellow Peeps and this one is scented just like banana. It smells really good actually. It smells like not like a regular banana. It kind of, and this is going to sound weird, but it smells like popcorn and banana to me, which I actually really love. It's like a weird combination, but I enjoy it. No lie, it was probably my favorite scent like out of this entire like slime review. This one was scented perfectly. I really loved it. Um, the texture of this was really nice as well and very easily spreadable and came with this little rubber ducky charm, which I thought was super super cute and I really loved it.
Next up, we have Unicorn Yogurt, which smelled so, so good as well. I think it was like cotton candy scented, if my memory serves me correct. And it was really nice and thick, yet also soft as well. It was really nice, and the blue and purple beads gave it a nice touch as well and gave it some extra texture. And the last line that was sent is actually called Holden Cereal, which I was freaking out about because that is the name of my dog. It was actually inspired by my puppy Holden. So thank you so much for doing that, Dino Slimes. That was amazing. This slime is really, really nice as well. I think it's like a clay slime made with some Daiso Japanese clay because it's super, super soft and spreadable. And it also has some foam beads in there as well. I think they're black foam beads, if I'm not mistaken. I just really enjoyed the slime. It smelled really good as well. And it was super cute because it came with a little puppy charm. Alrighty, that was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a big slimy thumbs up for me. If you're feeling extra awesome and you want to see my face again, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to become a unicorn. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you very freaking much, and I will see you all next time. Bye! Hand in hand we run, hiding from